going to talk to him for a second, then you could talk to him directly at 209-845-1100. Congratulations, Coach. That's the big, best word to say. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. It's a fantastic feeling, and uh, sometimes they say the third one is the best one. It certainly was. It was the, the toughest one, and uh, we've been on cloud nine ever since we won it. Of course, Roy Richards, one-point win. Was it 28-27 or 27-26? 27-26. 20-27-26 on Friday night. And I'm sh anybody who went to the game, and I had guys calling in on Monday and calling me all day on s Saturday because I was out of town, um, said that it was one of the more enjoyable evenings in high school football that they can remember. I listened to it on the app up in Madison, Wisconsin, and it was one of the more enjoyable listens that I've ever had about high school football. And you guys, you and Russ know how to bring a show, man. Well, I don't think either one of us wanted it to come down like that. But bottom line is I think our kids and their kids have, have figured out that when we play each other in August, it's fun. But when we play each other in November, it's fantastic. And uh, both teams are going to be playing at their best. Mistakes are going to be made. And, and I guess the team that makes the fewest mistakes wins. And that's kind of what it was Friday. Uh, we didn't turn the ball over and we won by one point. And uh, you, you, you always want to go back and look at, you know, what could we have done differently? Obviously, for us, it was just a couple of plays, and for them, it was a couple of turnovers. But both teams played as hard as they could play, and both coaching staffs made calls and decisions to try to spur on their team. And, and uh, it, it was a lot of fun. Things didn't always work out, but both teams For the sectional the championship, it was the Griffith Panthers, and this time around... It will be for the regional championship. It will be the South Bend Washington Panthers coming in. Now, that's a 6.30 start. Correct. That's 6.30 start. And um, we're asking everybody that if you've already pre-purchased a ticket to go ahead and park anywhere you want and enter the gate. If you have not, park on the west side of the school. Walk through the school door D as if you're going to a basketball game. That's where we're going to sell the tickets. That way there's not a log jam at the stadium where the concession stand is, where the teams come in. So you can buy your tickets inside in the gym as if you were going to a basketball game and walk right through the school, down the ramp, and into the stadium like we did in the semi-state game last year. But if you've done a pre-purchase ticket at Morton, we, we are selling tickets throughout the week, um, I think 8 o'clock to 3.30, uh, Tuesday, which was yesterday, Wednesday and Thursday. And if you can buy those, then just go to the game park anywhere you want and go ahead and go into the, into the pass gate and show your ticket. So, but, uh, you, all right, so just to get this straight, right. the the, uh, the lot on the west side and then door D is on, on that? Door D is on that side as if you were going to a basketball game. Okay. And we will have that those gates open as if you were going to a basketball game, buy your ticket, and then just go through the other side of the school and out the east side right to the football stadium. It's going to be a little chilly, so that will cut down on some of your walk in, right. the, uh, in the wind and so forth. Absolutely. And I think people can get there early, buy their tickets, and, and really kind of hang out a little bit before they head down to the stadium. Uh, we kind of found that last uh, two years ago for the regional, the, the log jam, at the at the ticket gate was just so huge we couldn't get teams in and out we couldn't get people to the concession stand because the line for the tickets were so long so last year in the semi-state game we had the tickets being sold inside and it, it really alleviated a long line especially standing in the cold all, all, all the way out there so that way you don't have to worry about it you get your ticket and then you just walk to the stadium give them your ticket and have your seat anybody that's got a pass or a field pass or a media pass those will be at the ticket booth, so you can just head out to the stadium, and then we'll have a sheet with your name on it. You tell them your name, they give you a pass, and then you can come and go.